Hello friends, welcome to Clouds Tech Talk. Hope you are doing great. So today we will learn how you can create a multi-node Kubernetes cluster on IBM Cloud using commands. So perhaps you know that you can create it from console itself, but you can also create Kubernetes cluster using commands prompt. So what do you need as a prerequisite to Kubernetes cluster? So first definitely you should have IBM Cloud account, then IBM Cloud CLI. You will get it from this link. I, I will paste it in the description below. And next, you need to install container service plugin. This is also available from this link. However, I will show you the command. You can install the command by using IBM Cloud CLI itself. And lastly, you need paid IBM Cloud account for multi-node clusters. If you are in a free tier, you can create a Kubernetes cluster, but with one node only. So one node Kubernetes cluster is allowed for free uh, account. If you want to create multi-node cluster, definitely you must have paid account. To make your free tier account into paid account, you just need to provide your credit card information. First, you need IBM Cloud account. Very recently, on 31st October, IBM announced and renamed the Bluemix Cloud service or rather Bluemix platform to IBM Cloud platform. Let's jump into the common prompt. I have already installed IBM Cloud Aka Bluemix CLI. So now let me show you i have already also logged into using my api keys you can see the current bluemix information by using bx info but uh, if you if you want to know how to log into the bluemix uh, account then you can use bluemix login and then api key and then type your key api key so anyway i have already logged into so let's move on now next step is you have to install container service plugin. So to do that you need to use plugin install and then container service. Now if I hit the enter it will start downloading the plugin and install it. So let's skip it because I have already installed it. Just to test the Bluemix container service CLI plugin let's use bxcs. So it will list down all the available commands under cs plugin container service plugin right so you can see all the available comments now let's clear the screen currently i have already created few clusters so if you, if you want to see the all the cluster information you can use clusters bx cs clusters it gives you all the available clusters created in this account now let's assume you want to create another cluster so you definitely need to use bx cs cluster create if I press enter, so it shows you all the options and it, it, it tells you that you need to provide all these mandatory fields like workers, number, region, VLANs information, public VLAN, private VLAN information, machine type, hardware, etc. Right? So to get this information, you need to use like for example, where you want to provision your worker nodes, Kubernetes worker nodes in which data center. right? So use command bx cs locations so it gives you all the locations where you can create your worker nodes so in this case you can create your worker nodes within dallas 10 dallas 12 or dallas 13 data centers now if you use bx cs vlans so clearly you have to provide a location name for vlans command now if you want to know vlans information then type bx cs vlans then location name let's assume we are we will be using dallas 10 so it gives you two vlans one is private another one is public so you are going to need this information so let's take note of these two numbers for private and public vlans and clear the screen so now you need to know what are the types of machines available for a specific data center so let's use bx ch and then data center name so it gives you all the available machine types so you can pick one so let's take a note for two cores 4 gb memory machine type which is ulc.2 by 4 so let's take a note so now we have almost all the information that is required for creating kubernetes cluster now let's use the cluster create command now we are going to use this command so first vx cs cluster create then location we have already identified dallas 12 then public vlan 178.2005 that uh, we have already noted down so 
then private vlan 1782003 machine type uh, e1c 2x4 the name uh, i have given a name demo cttc cluster and then hardware we'll, we are going to use shared so there are two options shared and dedicated dedicated means you are going to uh, get a dedicated hardware for you that, that we don't uh, need for this demo so let's use shared and then of course the worker nodes you can uh, you can pick your number of worker nodes uh, 2 3 4 50 maybe uh, you might need that many of numbers worker nodes for your architecture but for this demo i am going ahead with two so let's hit enter button and then let's see what happens it's creating the cluster so it has accepted the command that means all the options parameters values are uh, correct so let's now run bx cs clusters so now you can see another additional cluster dem additional kubernetes cluster demo ctt cls tier is added and the current state is deploying 20 cents ago so that is fine so that is what we have created with two work nodes right so now let's uh, wait for a while it usually takes 20 to 25 minutes the uh, to get the cluster created so let's wait i'm going to pause the video for now and we'll uh, come back again when the cluster will be created so i'll i'll, I'll keep checking the status of this cluster meanwhile you can uh, do one thing you can uh, use few additional commands like workers and then cluster name, uh, name demo ctt cls tier if you use this command you will be able to see if uh, any additional workers are being provisioned or not so now you can see there are two uh, worker nodes are being provisioned at this point state is provision pending so there is another command you can use bxcs uh, worker node that you can use to get more detail about any worker node right uh, let's see this for this one after hitting the enter you will see few more details about this uh, worker node so let you can see now as it is not ready so that is why uh, the private ip public ip these are not populating and state is also pending now let's wait for the cluster to uh, get created then i'll uh, start the video again Hey friends, we are back again uh, after some time. So let's check whether our cluster has been created or not. Again, I'm using same command. Okay, so now we can see that uh, the status of the demo CTT CLSTR is normal and it is running fine. So let's try a few other commands. Here you can see two worker nodes and the state of these two worker nodes are also normal and ready so you can use kubernetes so you can use your worker nodes for your containers deployment now you want to explore this kubernetes cluster definitely uh, you need to you need to set the kubernetes configuration like bxcs q cluster clusters config and then that should be cluster config let's hit enter so it has downloaded the cluster config now as i'm using windows 10 system so i need to copy this line and paste it so all the configuration will be set now you can access this uh, kubernetes cluster from this local system so i'll create another video to demonstrate how you can access the kubernetes through from your local system and how you can configure it for your containers deployment now you can use kubectl get nodes or even proxy so if you use proxy so it will create a local server and you can access a proxy url from your local browser it will internally redirect to the remote kubernetes cluster running on ibm cloud platform so from kubernetes cluster creation standpoint this is it guys i hope you enjoyed it that's it guys for today i hope you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and also request you to subscribe and support this channel i really appreciate that thank you guys and see you in next CTT video